Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see registering Azure resource providers to enable Azure features. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So just to give you a background to Azure, to use Azure resources in your Azure subscription, the corresponding resource providers needs to be registered first. There can be various scenarios where the resources providers may not be registered in a subscription. When you create your subscription, not all resource providers are registered from the beginning. And if there are new Azure features added, the resource providers for that feature may not also be registered as well. And uh, sometimes when you are owner or a contributor to a subscription, when you create a resource that is not already registered, the resource providers is automatically registered because the resources you requested are created. But if you do not have the sufficient privileges, like you are not the owner or a contributor, then your resource will not be created and you will see an error message. So there are three ways wherein we can register resource providers in Azure. We can either use Azure Portal, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI to register resource providers. So let me just put for you the Azure Portal to register a resource provider. I'm I'm into my resource portal and now I'm going to click on to my subscriptions. And I only have one subscription, I'll click on it. And on the left pan, you would see under settings, you would see resource providers. Click on it. And you see that all of the insights, SQL, and uh, every other resource provider is registered and if you would see microsoft.codespaces it's not registered your change analytics capacity these are not registered like your devops is also not registered so you click on it you highlight it and then you click on this register button click on register And when you will click on it, it says registering here. See this one? It is registering. It still stay. It still says registering. When I refresh it, it says registered. Right. So when this thing gets a register, mark please. And whatever thing you want to use, you can click on it and you can register it so this is how you do it from the boat now let me show you how you do it from the powershell or let me show you first of all from the cli to use the cli you launch the cloud shell already it's going to ask me to create a storage okay Test cloud shell sure. Okay. It's gonna create it. I'm gonna wait. Okay, I have my cloud shell loaded up. It is connecting to terminal. I'm already logged in and I'm connected to my subscription. I only have one subscription. So I'm going to check the provider list here. It is still loading up. I'm going to crazy provider. Hold on. AZ provider list. Dash dash query. So I've copied this command from uh, to check for the Microsoft compute, so click hit enter. It says it, it is already registered and if you would see DevOps. Registration state registered, registration required. So you can do for Microsoft uh, BI as well, anything as well. 
like I see this Microsoft.Provider Hub is not registered or Microsoft.Quantum is not registered. So I'm going to select here. it will say not registered now I'm going to register it using the CLI so the command to do this would be AZ provider register dash dash namespace and I'm going to type in quantum I'll hit enter and it will register it. Let me pause it and come. Register is still ongoing. You can monitor using AZ provider show Microsoft.quantum. I can do AZ provider show dash n is for namespace. And I can type Microsoft quantum. See? Operation status, let's say registering. There it says registering. So when it is done, it is say it will say registration completed or registered. Alright, let me now pull up the PowerShell ISC and show you how you do it from PowerShell. I'm on to my PowerShell. I'm gonna first of all log into it. As we all know, the command to do that is login. Azure account, enter it, you will get this dialog box to sign into your Azure account or Microsoft account, um, I'll enter my email ID. That's to a threat like.com. I'll enter my password. I'll hit sign in. I'm connected to my Azure account. Here also, I'll use the to check if particular resource provider is registered or not. I'm going to use for Microsoft Compute. I'm going to hit enter, scroll it up, we will check on my subscription that I'm connected, it says it is already registered, let me see if any other is registered or not, I'm going to do it for Microsoft.RedHat OpenShift, I'm going to replace it with this, I'm going to Select it, I'm going to run it. It will show me. It says it is not registered. And to register it, I'm going to say register as your RM resource provider, provider namespace, then the name of the resource provider, and it will be registered on my subscription level. So, this is how you register the resource providers using the portal, CLI, and PowerShell. I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.